Hi, I'm Margaret Schmidt, Chief Design Officer here at TiVo, and I want to introduce you to our next generation UI experience. So this is the main menu. This is what you get to when you hit the TiVo button up at the top of the remote. So a couple elements here. It's the video in the corner is either live or recorded video. The menu items that you see on the left, these are originally configured by the operators, but then they're customizable by the user. The strip at the bottom, this is what we've been talking about in terms of predictions. So this is looking at the actual viewing behavior on the box and saying at this time of day and day of week and seasonality and when the kids are home in the afternoon, it's predicting very different things than after they're asleep. My shows is the key TiVo screen, right? That's where when you set up your one pass, all the shows that you watch end up here. Only certain things you're maybe actively viewing at this time, so we want to give you easy access to that. But then we have all the shows in either date or name order. You have that choice, and I can see into those episodes, and it's remembering which next episode is there for me to watch. And as you can see, this is seamlessly integrating between recordings and the on-demand and the streaming content. And so as a user, I don't have to to think, where do I go to find the next episode? Now, discovery is still really important. So this is all backed by Digital Smith's technology saying, okay, for everything that's on TV, what am I most likely to want to watch? With something like movies, based on everything you know about me, which movies are likely to appeal? But maybe I don't want a recommendation, I want to hunt a little more, I can go into more movies. And then again, operators control how they merchandise the content here and which strips they want and how they want to present it. And as a user, I can, I can navigate through that content, but there's always this personal element to it, so it could be sorted in the order you know, most likely to apply to that viewer. Back on home, we have apps, a lot of integrated apps, so we have a way for them to find their apps and also to favorite the ones that they want to get to quickly. Uh, one of the things I really like is what we call our trade-up experience. And so we created functionality around all four arrow keys. So if I hit right, I can see what's on my other tuners. This is a four tuner box. So these are all caching. If I tune to them, they would be in progress. If I hit left, I can see what's on my favorite channels. So again, I can quickly get to something on one of my favorite channels. If I hit down, I see that same prediction strip that we saw on home. And if I hit up, I can see a visual presentation of what's on the different channels, what's now and what's next. And because our operator said, please don't break the grid, of course, we have a standard grid guide still available for those that need it. So that is the really quick overview.